Here's what you do. Um, there's this guy, and he's had this dream, okay, for six fucking years to get a bike that worked on water. We had that 70s show, and they talked about it's not it's not really hard technology. The problem is the guy was thinking about a wheels instead of paddles, and there was a lot of competition, and he wasn't in America. So um, there's we're down with Elizabeth, it's like Beth, and um, Gimel, right? Psalms and so it's like pussies don't exactly need to like know that, but it's like it's what it is, like. Basically, like when people leave, sick, like that, that's why it, you, you've been seeing um, Bacula and stuff. And what what they've done is they've said it's like, well, the, the cocks are kind of getting smarter now. And since we last talked, they want the bones, kind of like they want the baculum. But the weird thing about it is like when the term is erudite and there's like nuts, or there's only like a couple of Jewish people that like know. There aren't people that are doing it on the timeline. They're like, well, there's no way that you're going to be able to produce it, kind of. Because, like, what happens is, like, um, in the black market, things... The, the basic difference between, like, a buck guy and a doe guy, okay, is that the buck guy doesn't have to, like, advertise. Like, he gets um, auditory nods, which are more immediate. And so, because of that, and this, it's like the segmenting of geography... What happens is, like, the tungsten exists in South Africa before it goes other areas. Like, when you're mining it, and there's different languages, but there's not as high capital, you never need to, like, evoke, let's say, atomic tungsten. It's only after the time tunnel, and they verify. It's like, once they, um, it's the entrepreneurs, it's like, what, what happens? Like, when we verify that you can travel in time and stuff, for people who don't believe it, they, they don't understand set, so they don't understand, like, a work relationship. You would need a manager is, like, what it is. So they go back and they perform this operation in 79, and there's a code for a person who doesn't obtain. It's like, well, if this guy obtained and it was his Christian name and he broke out of a set, then we could make a guy. In other words, like, they felt bad for the Mark Demings because they're like, well, his son is going to get, like, fucked up if he gets named... Mark. If he gets named Mark, he needs to be like a Mark with a C so that he sticks with Connors. But the fucker, like, didn't do it. And then the dad got written out of the will. So, um, there was like a grudge of one person in Queens against the Mark Demings. Right? Because there was this actor who he needed to, to smoke and stuff on stage and, like, drink coffee or whatever. And then all of a sudden he, like, made this, like, arbitrary stand against it, and the guy's firm fell apart, and he's like, how the fuck was I, um, in bed with, like, GMMD, kind of, it doesn't make sense, it's like, well, in other words, like, he got betrayed, because he's like, well, as long as he's, like, not fucking, like, another guy or whatever, and he's fucking a dame, then it, it shouldn't matter, kind of, but then he, he dicked, and it's like, well, what, what's the deal, or whatever, and whenever he got in contact with him, there was this guy around, his name was a whale, and, like, the only time he ever saw him, like, standing, like, without a lean was with that guy, and he basically de deduced, he's like, well, this guy must be fucking him, like, there's no way that you can spend an hour on the can and have, like, a log, it's, like, nine inches long or some, some shit, right? It's, like, he's the one that, this thing is, like, well, I must have, like, the bone or whatever, because it's, it was, like, always hard, right and then like when it like went away it's like well, who fucking like stole that shit from me so what happens is like if he didn't fess up to it if he fessed up and was like well no like i did sleep sleep with this guy it was like a work relationship it'd be a thing but then when he like buries it under the rug and then they write him out of the will it's like it becomes this really bad thing like really bad but there's people that have to cover for him because it's like it's kind of like marx and angle like right where the thing is, like, well, Marx would have been... There's people that want community and shit, but Marx would have been more persuasive if he could have made money. But it's like, the reason that he was able to get money was because he had a backer. But you can have a backer, and it doesn't have to be, like, a homosexual relationship. You can go out and get a wingman, have two dames, and keep a relationship. Like, if you bitch the girl once, kind of, because what happens is, like, if the girl is afraid of the guy because he's righteous and invokes statutes... 
what the guy does is he's like, well, here's what I'm going to do. Like when my dick is at like its maximum length, what we're going to say is that you're most vulnerable when you don't have anything in you. So I'm going to sleep in you for nine hours, basically one day a week. And I'm going to be on top. And that's when she can like sleep because she can like praise him. She feels guilty about praising anybody if it's like not God, but she loses grammar if she doesn't have anything inside her. So what he says, like, here's what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to get you a plug or like a tube that's the same length. And the only time I'm going to reprimand you or whatever is if like you somehow, like, I'd know if you betrayed me kind of, if it took you more than five minutes to get the thing in, because then you would lust after like some other person, even though I'm paying for you or whatever. Right. He basically fronted her $20 million kind of in like direct cash. The girls never betrayed him. But there was somebody in the firm that like fucked it up and then he so he, that's like what happens right so this other guy is in England this like somewhat similar situation the mystery factor where he's like well it seems like it's easy to procure like I'm really smart why can't I figure out why this thing isn't coming in and it's like if he had just been able to get into America you know what I'm saying and there wasn't something that was like held up there wasn't 9 or whatever the fuck it was then he would have seen the paddle boats and been like, well, yeah, like, you just got to make one, like, personal, and then you'd sell it to the yuppies. But, like, he didn't have the money to do it. So he put it on the shelf. But luckily, like, the guy didn't have any spite. So then you ended up having this, like, really great sex thing, and he, like, saw you, like, for a second. And then he got this, like, immediate idea or whatever to do it. He's like, well, I'll just, like, I'll, I'll, I'll go in bed with Pratt or whatever. He actually bitched a date and did the thing. So what ends up happening is like you get like a vacation you see somebody and just you seeing them like inspire him to get off his ass and do it because he didn't even need like 20 million dollars the, the prototype he constructed it himself because he's he's a mechanic so he can and he can fashion things in epoxy or plastic or wood so he makes it and it's a huge hit and then he kind of um they have a party or whatever or a ball and <laughs> they do like one thing where they stage somebody not be, there was gonna be like a Beatles tribute band or some crap and there were like rumors as like who it could be it's like look at this American guy like I've heard that there's this like really good cock there's this uh, there's like a Garrett um Deming and stuff but like he's not around it's not him it's not this one's not this one and then what they're saying is like well what are we gonna do it's like well we could go out on the lakes or whatever in the paddle boats but um I don't know like that could be lame so he rushes over kind of and says, well, no, I got this thing, like, I like, and he had music or whatever, and he just had, like, a card in his, his pocket, he's like, well, I'll just send, like, an IOU to, like, Chris Pratt or whatever, like, my profits, I'll, I'll send him a letter and, like, send him, like, 20 grand or, like, 2 grand or something to let him know, because he felt bad that it wasn't going to be an American invention, you know what I mean? It's like, when you have a thing from first appropriation, he, he's so humble, and it's like, well, it was, like, it was obviously, like, America that, like, did this. But it's like, he doesn't want it to be political. You're like, well, who do I like? Do I, do, is it like Monica and the Lewinsky's? Is it like Trump? Like, who was it? It's like, he already knew that it was you. So he needs to get like credit and it needs to be something where like not exactly everybody like knows or cares about it. But then when they find out about it, they want to be more competitive because what ends up happening is like when somebody does that, if there's any Americans that fit the profile, where like they're a gimbal and there's like a Beth, if they're immature about it, but they don't know and it's like faultless, then it might take them a while to get like a Dane. But if they like, stumble upon the statute or something and they do it, that becomes a thing. But like most people, they wouldn't, they just say fuck the queen and like saying it once, maintaining the ground when you're, there's like a whole ocean away is like a lot easier. So they want the kids to become more inventive and they want like people to come up with the same ideas because I technically have the, a car that runs on like ball bearing wheels or whatever, but like I've staged it on the timeline where we have to introduce it as toys and then make larger ones that are like off road and then make luxury limousines and then finally release it to the public so that it's like you're sinking it every decade. It's like, well, we'll make them and they'll go obsolete, but then we'll upgrade it unbeknownst and like go karts and then we'll do like off road ones and all those other things. It's like what they're saying is like, well, if a kid gets the idea but he doesn't have the credit who came up with the idea first because he gives it to like a confidant who can like share the lead it's like you know some kid and he drew it up he's like well let me see the spec if it's like basically a soccer ball with workers on all the joints 
that's over the wheel and he has like one panel of like a, a, te a tech shop where they're buffing the wheels and shit then he's saying then you you need to like make him do that be like motherfucker like you don't do this or whatever like i'm gonna fucking say that you're queer this is like the greatest idea like you're gonna do basically you can give him the plan without saying that like i originated it and then, so the, the authority figure of you, like, being a dick, I mean, like, I don't, I have, like, too much cash or whatever to hear that idea. If you don't put it into practice, you need to make a prototype in six months and fucking leave. Then it's like you can show up unannounced and see if the kid performed. The kid will be terrified, kind of, but it's like then he'll end up scoring and getting, like, sex, and he'll make it. That's what happens. So, like... That's the type of thing where it's like, if you get an idea, you get all the factors or whatever, but you know that there could potentially be like history of it, it becomes a thing. So like, it, you never need to go like on a talk show. Like he doesn't have, he's already like vetted to like send you some money and stuff is like what it is. But that's like basically like what happened it was really funny. So I just, I, I don't see you in the, in the news a lot. I run into um, Wahlberg and like Hal a lot. And you, you might have run into Scott. Like, he is a vetted guy. Like, he, he's not in um, Raomi, like, Broom, like, 13905. But, like, he comes into Vestal locations. But it's sensitive because there's, like, older people that they feel slighted because people have died and they're, like, hurt. Such as, like, Robin Williams and, like, other individuals. It's, like, they're mourning. That's the reason why they're not coming on screen. So, when I saw Reynolds... And then I remember these people, and I'm like, well, but then you left. It was like, well, it's actually inconceivable on your schedule that you could make up a nine trip to upstate. I forwarded the thing um, through the internet or whatever, and just like laid something like this, this set or whatever, because there's like something else later about basically like when the people start doing these phones, we could cut the cord with like CERN or like any other thing. So there's gonna be like hype of people who are like scared because there's like a lot of like evil people, but eventually they're like not actually gonna succeed because once the actual goods end up being like quoted in the phones and then oh, a few projects are made and stuff, then like all of those warnings or whatever won't be for not, and it, it, but it also won't be like a letdown because like you never want somebody like warning that something bad could happen and people to like not take it seriously when it didn't happen. You always want like legitimate work. So what you do is you say is like, well, anytime that there's like quoted, there's a government shutdown, we'll just go on like high enterprise mode and like roll <laughs> um, stoves or whatever, like it's nobody's business. And then we'll charter up um, a bar or whatever. So a Marquise Chris thing where you can get like a K and then we can kind of reify the thing um, based on continuity if we want in a serialized thing or in a movie but even if it doesn't get in the movie the idea is like i'll produce it because i can front you the money by um doing it when it's in futures like this you understand what i'm saying and that way i don't have to take a pay increase and i can still keep my dollars like um 121 because like if i procured this in like a week i'd have to be over rocking like a 12 dollars thing but they would shut down because like i couldn't i have to invest in like whiskey or potentially like a free drink but it's like I can't like for a long time like, like go to Dills or like um, let's say like Loiter and bring cartoons and stuff there. It's like there there'd be conspiracy. So like instead of doing that, I just decided to do this. And um, the plan for the rollout is, is that it's about six months before um, I, I get on like a talk show or anything else. So like in the locations and the know and stuff. There are things, but like I'm, it's like zipped mouth on. Like, I could talk to more you about it, but it's like zipped mouth on like Colbert and Lopez and Lolo and like a couple other people. But um, I don't know. That made me happy, and I haven't even like gone to church yet. I gotta get some Slim Jims and stuff. But we'll talk later, and you can just be pretty much as fucking pissed off as you want. <laughs>